hasn't been stuck in development for, you know, 15 years or whatever. Although technically they did say 25 years in the making, so maybe, maybe, maybe it has been, you know. But it's not crowdfunded either, so. <clears throat> Space exploration is possible thanks to your ship. Your ship is almost like having another character or home you can make all your own. I think you'll be blown away by the amount of stuff you can do. You can buy a ship. I'm sure you can find something you like. Customize and upgrade that ship. And hire a crew to keep it up and running. And it all starts in spaceports. Every spaceport has a ship technician where you can purchase, sell, and modify ships. Anything I can help you with? Maybe you start off with a speedy fighter that's perfect for bounty hunting. Then you might round out your ship roster with a hulking space freighter to run cargo missions, or even do a little smuggling. Can you have more than one ship? Now, though, we're going to take our starting ship, the Frontier, and make some changes. You can customize and upgrade everything you see here. And you have two ways to do that. It says ship you can one of one on the top, so I think you can't have more than one like ship. Your weapons or, shields, or you can deep dive and enter the ship builder mode. Here you can change anything, from the systems to the look and layout. Adding a new habitat module can give you more room for crew. Adding cowling can change your ship's overall silhouette. An improved grav drive allows for longer distance space oh, jumps. Oh, I... The guys who love you modding, you guys, they're gonna be going paint job crazy to get over the exact this. Look you want. The parts you choose to build with don't just affect your ship's stats. They'll also affect what you can do inside your ship. You can have modules for crafting or for storing and displaying your weapons. Starfield's in-game ship manufacturers bring their own look and feel to every piece of your ship. From living quarters to cargo holds, mess halls, and control rooms. Our modified Frontier is a practical ship, but with a little creativity, your ship can look like almost anything you want. It's a bit odd, but one of my favorite ways of customizing ships is um, I make them look like animals. The okay. HMS Platypus, as I call it. <laughs> where it had a, like a giant tail to it. And That's we've done hilarious. spiders, we've done mechs. So it's really whatever your imagination is. That's pretty cool. I can't believe that and thing could even can take build off. Your home among the stars the way you want to, you're probably not the only person who will call your ship home. Ready to lift off when you are, Captain. Engines ready. The Frontier is fueled and ready, Captain. Some of the members of Constellation can join you on your journey. These companions can serve on your crew, and they'll always be there when you travel. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Each companion comes with their own valuable skills for your nice. ships and outposts, as well as unique quest lines. Cool. Eventually, oh, that's, that's typical for Bethesda's and other romance. RPGs. I don't know that I've ever really loved anyone except you. Romance. And if you're looking for a little extra help on your post. ship, you can always hire additional crew at spaceports. Got any room on your ship for someone like me? You'll also meet potential crew members out in the world. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Assign crew to your ship or outposts and their unique skills will affect how they run. They haven't even covered outposts yet. God, we're 25 minutes just in. Like this is awesome. just like companions, most crew members can lend a hand in the field. Take Bosco, for instance. He's designed around the, the core basics of a NASA machine. Please avoid getting shot. You <laughs> might die. I still want to give it almost a humanoid personality, so I elongated the limbs. This tends to make him feel more human-like and give him a little personality. It is a shame nice. exploration requires so much bloodshed. Using the ship building tools and crew selection features in Starfield, you'll be able to build and captain the ship of your dreams. And now, let's take to the sky.
All right, time for some, time for some combat and exploration. We're putting you in the cockpit of your very own spaceship. Oh, that They're looks telling good. you that you can do pretty much anything, and that is really cool for us as developers. Space flight should be exciting and dangerous, and you should feel like you're in complete control every step of the way. We've extended that sense of control to ship combat. It's not about just hitting your triggers to fire your weapons. Okay. It's a complex dance between your piloting skills and our power allocation system. Power Posting allocation system. power to your system. engines will make your ship faster. Powering up the grab drives will shorten the amount of time it takes before you can make a jump. Okay. And moving your power to your weapons and shields means you're ready for a fight. You should always be on your toes because you're not alone out there. Bad guys! Unlocking the targeting control system skill will allow you to zero in on specific subsystems of the ship you target. Looks good. After destroying an enemy ship, you can loot the remains from your cockpit. Cool. You can always turn any ship that engages you into scrap. But you can also take a more personal approach by docking with the enemy vessel and boarding their ship. Ooh, hand to hand combat? Well, not hand to hand, you know what I mean, but like face to face. Once you've taken control of an enemy ship, it's yours. Well, that's Head interesting. Your fleet and retrieve it at any spaceport. Oh, see, six of nine, four of nine. So but they have nine ships. Way more than fighting so for your life. So definitely, you can have more than one ship. So that's cool to know. Just like when you're that answers side, my question. There from are earlier. plenty of sights to see and stops to make on the way to your next adventure, like these massive star yards. Walk the halls. Talk to the crew. Maybe get talked into buying a whole new ship. A civilian in my star yard. Let's see about getting you a proper ship, one worthy of you. Mori in space. Maybe you'll dock with a gigantic battleship, like the UC Vigilance. Or rub elbows with the galaxy's wealthy elite on a cruise ship fit for the stars. The Terran there are Preservation of Society. To be had as well. You can hail any ship you come across to trade, swap info, or maybe even commit an act of piracy. Let's do this. When I'm playing, I generally go crazy. Um, I definitely go like the more piracy routes. Um, I want to take over ships. I'm going to board ships. I'm like, this is now mine. I steal all the sandwiches and <laughs> put them, you know, in my cargo hold that I have. Oh my God, she literally does have all the sandwiches. Hero, um, <laughs> and just start taking things from That's people awesome. as quickly as possible. Space sandwiches. Some strangers might be looking for a little nice transition to the moon. in the darkness of moon? space. The moon, sorry. Hello, stranger. It's I Grandma. Just finished cooking up some food. If you want to come on over, just pop on by. Some of the best moments are the ones you discover on your own. Oh, that looks good. The thing I love most about Starfield is that it is a Bethesda game through and through. It's really about going to strange new places, meeting interesting people, and getting sidetracked on zany adventures. Star Trek then, in space. Two hours later, that you're involved in a completely new story. You're human. We thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. That DNA is so present here. It's in our random encounters. It's in our handcrafted quests. And it feels so cool to play it and just make your own path in this universe. There are over a thousand planets out there just waiting for you to visit. We want you to feel like explorers, breaking ground on new planets, exploring every inch of a mostly untouched galaxy. We want you to feel hopeful. We want you to feel this sense of awe and wonder, and sometimes a little fear. We're giving you a massive playground and a ton of toys 
and just setting you free. Looks good.